Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back with another unboxing. So, um, Kathy contacted me through Instagram and she said she was selling a bunch of her beads and I said, well, send me some pictures. <laughs> and um, we came to a deal and she sent me them, but she sent an awful lot of extra that wasn't in the, the pictures that she sent me. So I'm super excited. This box is 11 pounds. Like I was not expecting that. I was expecting like a medium maybe priority like mailer, but no, this was a, what size is this? This is a medium priority box, like the huge one, flat rate. So I'm like stupidly excited. Um, Kathy was so sweet and I just can't wait to see what's in here. She said she also um, sent me a gift, which was, had the stickers on it. So let's see what's in here. This is a good stuff first. <laughs> Oh, she put the Lisa Frank stickers on. They're so cute. <laughs> I love Lisa Frank when I was in, in school. So she said she made these. Oh, this is a cute necklace. Oh my gosh. This is really cute. This looks almost like Halloween colors. Like purple. Well, it's like a periwinkle. Um, green. And there's a skull. Yeah, I'm thinking she's thinking uh, Halloween. This is super super duper cute i love this i love these little owls i actually have some of those so that's really cute i don't think i've ever seen this bead before it is a moon a really dark black just moon by itself i've never seen those before so pretty and we've got the skulls and a bunch of other check beads that's a really neat necklace i love it thank you kathy that's super 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 cute i love it I love getting handmade jewelry from others. Because usually the one, I'm the one who's giving it away, you know. I don't really get it. So when you guys send me stuff that you've made, I just feel so lucky. <laughs> and then um, another piece. And I actually can't remember. I think she said these were bracelets now that I'm thinking about it. But I guess I could wear them as very short necklaces or put an extender. These are wrap bracelets. And this one's all check beads too. We've got, oh, it's got a cute little owl and there it's um like fall colors this is really neat thank you kathy oh look at that bead that's cool i love check glass and that's where she got me because she said she was selling all of her check glasses like uh yeah i'd love to see it this is a super cute bracelet okay so i am the worst at doing clasps one-sided so i'll have to get the, a paper clip and do that one-sided clasp trick but those are so pretty thank you so much kathy that was so sweet of you to include those i love them <laughs> And then, um, so I'm just going to kind of go through whatever's in this box. Some of this I recognize, some of it I don't. <laughs> so this, um, I think at the end she, was, she said she was just going to throw in some of this stuff. So this was not an original amount of stuff that I saw. And it's super heavy. Like this has got to be two or three pounds just by itself. It's all metal. So let me just kind of get going. Oh, these are nice antique brass they're heavy they're really nice those are perfect for all my like tribal and native looking items those are really nice next we have oh what do we have in here these are gorgeous look at these wow those are really neat i love those these are really high quality too or antique copper those are really pretty oh, I don't know what I'll do with those but they're gorgeous and then we have some like Celtic knots chandeliers very cool um, a different style of chandelier so neat um, are these part this is part of like an s hook clasp I think so maybe yeah, I think this is just like a hook part of a clasp. Those are really pretty. And then we have some, I don't know. Oh, here it is. This is that. That's what this goes with. Very neat. That's pretty. I don't have very many. I have some S hooks, but not too many. And then we look like we have some bars here, but I'm not quite sure what they, I mean, they're toggles, but I'm not quite sure what they go with. So not that that's ever stopped me. I can use that for something else. <laughs> and then we have some really interesting looking bead caps. They're oval. In shape that's really neat I could put them over some oval gemstones Wow those are really cool
these guys are gonna get their own baggie <laughs> um next we have oh a bunch more i mean there's a lot this is gonna this video might get split into two because i just can't imagine getting all of this into one video so ooh, really pretty flower that'd be really cute on a bracelet uh, i'm sorry flower uh feather could be a leaf too, I guess. And this is just seems like a bag full of connectors, which they're all very cool. Very neat. I love them. This one's a nice knot. We've got a butterfly, butterfly connectors. So sweet. And we have some infinity symbols. Very lovely. Love them. These are great. This is a great selection. Thanks, Kathy. This is really cute. Oh, and we've got some more of the feathers. Awesome. Very cool. Super excited. Okay, and then next we have some pine cups. Is that what these are? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so I love that they're silver and not automatically like already fall looking because I. Fall is my least favorite, um, uh, my fall is my least favorite season, but I think if I could do like a cool toned fall, I think these would be really nice with those. Otherwise I could just kind of make them like forest looking instead of fall themed. I love them. They're very heavy. They're definitely like high quality pewter. Then we have, oh. What are these? Oh, this looks like some of the same things that we saw in copper. Got some of the Celtic knot chandeliers again. Those are nice. Fantastic earrings. Um, these could just be like separators. Um, I think could probably be toggles, but I think they're actually just, you know, chandelier or multi-strand bars. Very cool. Then we have a different style of chandelier. Of those and then and yet another style that's more um well it's a chandelier but it's more um like a multi-strand component which i have so many multi-strand <clears throat> necklaces in my brain that these are really going to help me so thank you love those <clears throat> having allergies this week so i've been seeing these butterflies lately this one came in the most recent um, Bargain Bee box. I love this butterfly. I'm so happy I have another one. Um, I love this too. Look at that, it's my favorite colors. So pretty. Oh, we've got more, I'm so happy. I love this butterfly, I just love it. Um, for as much as I don't like bugs in real life, I do love bugs on, so, well, butterflies, I should say, maybe some dragonflies in beads. These are really cute. I don't have a charm that looks like that and they seem pretty high quality too. Love those. And then, um, oh, some deer for Christmas. Reindeer. And then, is this a... Oh, yeah, I did. I was like, I thought I saw, with the deer, I thought I saw a unicorn. Stupidly cute. That is so stinking cute. I love it. And then more dragonflies and another butterfly. Love that mix. Kathy said she was getting rid of her beads because um, she wasn't using them anymore and she really wanted to, them to go to somebody that um, would appreciate them and we all know I will appreciate them. They will be well loved in my house. <laughs> so, and then <clears throat> maybe at some point I'll be able to pass them along to some other person too. So we have a gold, or several people. <laughs> we have gold mix, so these are nice. I don't have spacer beads this big that are this quality like these are heavy these are really nice and then we've got some little roses adorable and then goldie sniffing in the background if you can hear her and then just a couple other different styles of spacer beads got some daisies and i think i even saw like a faceted one in here but I don't know where it went, but it's in there somewhere. <laughs> so I think that's a really good, nice mix. I love, uh, well, usually gold uh, spacer beads don't tarnish as fast. 
gold plated. Um, so I've been tending towards gold lately because I've been getting burned by some some of the silvers that we've seen lately. Um, but some of these are really high quality. Okay. Oh, these are nice. Antique brass. I don't see these quite that often. Uh, Crystal Rondell spacers. Very nice. I love I love it when they're not in the traditional metal, silver, or gold colors. Like gunmetal, antique brass, and antique copper are like some of my favorites for those. Um, ooh, some patinaed antique brass spacers. Very nice. I can see these in a bracelet. Love it. Maybe some Aaliyah Clark stuff. I think that would fit really well. Okay, and then, oh, we have copper, a rose gold color. Not one I tend to use very much, only because I'm scared that it'll patina. But these look nice. These are really nice. So we have a couple different versions. This one, like that bamboo, faux bamboo look. And then the one with the flower on it. We know I love toggles. So I just realized my microphone wasn't plugged in and I was filming for like 15 minutes. So I'm sorry about that, but hopefully this sounds better. Um, we have some nice um, uh, faceted beads. These are really cute. They're not the traditional facet shape either. More of like a squat facet instead of elongated. And then we have, I have these in silver, I think think but these are and are not antique these are um rose gold i almost felt like they were magnetic for a second but i don't think they are they it seemed like they were sticking to each other but they're not and then um some jump rings very nice it's always it's kind of hard to find jump rings in that metal color so thank you And then um, we have some silver stuff. This says fusion beads on it, but that's probably just where she got something and used, reused the baggie. Oh my goodness, there's so much in here and we're still in the first baggie. <laughs> so yeah, this is definitely gonna be multiple videos. Um, ooh, I'm seeing some sea inspired stuff. Oh my gosh, little baby turtles. <gasps> They're so tiny. They're like Goldie. They're so tiny. I was just telling her, I was like, how are you so tiny all the time? She's so teeny tiny, just like these little beads. They're so cute. I don't have any turtles that tiny, I don't think. And then we've got some shells and some starfish. Oh my gosh, I love those little turtles. So yesterday I went to Al's Jewelry in Phoenix and I got a turtle bone turtle necklace. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Can't wait for that video. I just have been backed up because I'm so, I just, I, I had no interest in doing videos last week and I'm, I'm backed up and hopefully we'll be getting more content soon. Um, we have another uh, bead mix, just like the gold one. Lovely. I'm trying to see. I don't. I don't know if this is like wording on these beads, but it's teeny tiny. Let me see if I can kind of make that out. Mm, no, I think it's just. I don't know. No, it's just like a, sorry, you can see all of my fingerprints. <laughs> it's just like a marking. It's not, it's not wording. Sorry about that. I couldn't see it with my real eyes. So it actually worked really well with ex, um, expanding on the camera. Um, oh, I just looked at that. Then we have some like fluted beads and I think I see a couple acrylic in here and some stardust. I think there's even a glass in there. So here's the acrylic one right there. Whoops, a couple of these guys, a couple connectors. Perfect for gluing um, a, a flower cabbage onto or something like that. I thought I had one on my desk from, um, the package I just, the amazing package I just got from Janie. Oh, here it is. So back in the day when I was making jewelry, I would have used the, to sell. <laughs> Still make jewelry 
let's get there. I would have just glued the flower to the base. So you can't really see the base, but that was the point. It was just really the vehicle to showcase the flower. And I would either put it on an asymmetrical necklace or I would hang it in a regular necklace. So I would always just use E6000 and attach them like that. Oh, I'm seeing some flat, uh, some hearts in here and some flowers. I love these beads. I think I got something similar from Pam. So there are flowers on there. And then we've got my tiny hearts that I love so much. I love those. I did that video with, oh, Jesse James beads flower, uh, hearts like that, but in gold. Look at these. I don't have any that look like that. I love those. Thank you. Those are really cute. And mind you, nothing, <laughs> nothing that I've shown so far was in the actual pictures of stuff that I was buying from Kathy. So I'm like flabbergasted that she included all this. She, she did send me some pictures of something that she would include, but I didn't, I don't think my brain recognized that it would be this much stuff. These are awesome. These are really heavyweight. These are really pretty. Gorgeous. Oh, we've got flowers, a bunch of different styles. Super cute. Love those. A couple different colors too. And then we have another mix. Oh, I like these. I really like those. Those are really cool. And then we've got some miscellaneous spacer beads. Very nice. Oh, this one's neat. Oh, there we go. Love those. Thank you. You guys know I love using my spacer beads. And then the last thing in the silver baggie was some more spacer beads. different styles I, I have some of these I think they came from bit bargain bee box but I, I you know I love them I use them and everything okay we still have more in this one bag <laughs> so ooh, gold clasps and some um, connectors uh, leaf connectors Oh, and some really cute um, ch uh, charms, chandelier charms. These are cute. And then we have these guys. I need to make a necklace with these. I think these um, just kind of connected with hand-linked beads and some chain would be super cute, super simple. And then we have some clasps so we've got some big clasps you can make dog leash you can make backpack pull you can do a lot of stuff with these keychains um, these are uh, mixed between well one's matte and one is uh, shiny and they, they're almost like in between gold and rose gold they're really pretty though And then we've got um, a chandelier or multi-strand connector. Um, this is a, yeah, that's a clasp, multi-strand clasp. And then we've got some toggles. Very nice little mix there. Love that. I think I wanna make a necklace with these. I have a, <clears throat> an idea I just don't know if I have enough of these <laughs> but we'll see we'll see I have an idea for those and then all oh, these are cute I used to have these but they weren't stampings like this my goodness it's a lot of stampings so um, I used to have some silver pendants that looked like this and I used to make them and put them in my shop 
but um, these don't have holes. You'd have to stamp a hole in it, and this is very high quality brass. Like that's, I can't even curl it with my hands, so that's not going anywhere. And there are one, two, six of them in here. That's crazy. Thank you, Kathy, that's really nice. Lovely, love those. Make some nice assemblage pieces with those or put them in polymer clay or something. Oh, we have a charm bag of silver charms. My goodness, my goodness. Okay, so these are bees, but they're, they're beads. <laughs> my favorite joke ever, of course, is about beads, but I don't know if anybody's ever seen uh, Arrested Development and the joke is she's saying beads, like B-E-A-D-S, but Job is saying, are you saying bees? And my friend, for the first few times got me when I started talking about um, beads to him, he would say, are you saying bees? I'm like, no, beads. Are you saying bees? Every time, it's just, it's such a repetitious, ridiculous joke that now whenever I s <laughs> somebody says, are you saying bees? <laughs> just, I instantly cackle. So anyway, these are really cute, even though, you know, I don't really like bugs, but these are kind of cute. Like one on a necklace would be fine. <laughs> then we have um, this really cool, um, owl which i feel like i want to color with different colors that would be really nice um what is this oh it's a dragonfly on a leaf charm that's kind of neat and then oh, oh my goodness oh my goodness it's a little owl bead where are all these beads been on my, on my whole entire life these animal beads i love <laughs> so cute we've got some hearts with wings um, is the back of the bee different? It is. So, no, yes. Yes, it's just legs. <laughs> and then, um, we've got a different bee. We've got some flowers. And a different bee. Key, some hearts. I have some of these hearts, I think. Like, I know for sure I have that one. Um, I don't have this one. We've got a key feathers lots going on in this mix oh a little birdie she made him into a dangle another bird is a hummingbird yeah very neat very cool oh here this one she made into a dangle too so another owl very neat mix oh what's this guy is it a rabbit it's a rabbit very cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at these teeny tiny butterflies. They're so tiny. They're so tiny. Okay. Very cool mix. I'm sure I missed something in there, but I loved it. Okay. Next we have a gold charm mix. Lots going on in here too. My goodness. We've got a an owl stamping that is so adorable and he's got a, a loop on him he's so detailed um, some little birdies these are also stampings very cool I used to make a really cute little earring simple earring like that and sold a lot of them in my Etsy shop um, they had a pearl they were hanging from a pearl. Look at these little cartoon bees. <laughs> Those are cute. And it's, it's sad that I don't really love bees because it's my first initial and I've tried to get past it, but literally they're my worst fear. So I can't, like I, I can't. If a bee is in the vicinity, I my, my higher brain function uh, vacates my body and I, I turn into a fool. So just even looking at something that represents something that gives me that much fear is just, it's, it's hard to deal with. <laughs> so, um, We've got some shamrocks, some lucky um, four-leaf clovers, some little um, seahorses, cute, 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 different style of bird, oh my gosh, I would have killed for this stuff, well, maybe not killed, that's a little dramatic, but would have loved to have this stuff when I was making jewelry to sell because, I mean, it's just... The possibilities are endless. People are always looking for unique earrings. Um, really cute shells. We've got, um, I think these are from Bargain Bee Box. I remember seeing these before. Almost looks like 
some kind of hazard sign from like the Umbrella Corporation or something from Resident Evil. And then we've got a tiny bee. Oh, we've got a uh, anti-copper little guy. He's nice. He's a really nice one. And is there anything else in here? I think we covered. Oh, 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 I missed it. It's one moon. It's a teeny tiny little moon. So sweet. So sweet. I love this mix. Thank you, Kathy. My goodness. Take me. It's going to take me 10 years just to organize this stuff into my stash. I do have like a cart that I kind of put stuff on to make sure that my desk doesn't get too, actually everything had been put away. I was actually doing really, really well. I had maybe a couple buckets um, and it just kind of exploded with this one. And I have some unboxings to do still and the stuff from um, Jane and Lynn recently, like everything kind of just blew up again, but I'm, I'm much closer to everything being away than I ever have been <laughs> besides right before this stuff came in. And then this is the last stuff that, I mean, we've already been doing this for half an hour and it was one, the first bag. So <laughs> I'm super grateful, but there's so much left. <laughs> so this is definitely going to be several, several videos. So here's another bag and this is all antique brass. And I'm seeing some antique brass beads. And I tell you, when I say I love these, I used to covet these, like stare at them online when I was selling because this was definitely in style back then. And they were expensive and I never bought them, but they're so beautiful and you can patina them and just make them your own. Here's a different style. This is almost like two bead caps put together, but um, they're just connected. <gasps> Cute, cute, cute. I love it. So sweet. Oh, 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 more of these bead caps like we kept out over here. I kept them out because I wanted to put them with, their, with my bead caps, but these are gorgeous. These are just brass. So nice. They almost look like vintage or something like that. We've got some beautiful birds. I am not going to be able to keep all this stuff. I'm so glad that um, I, I, she, she reached out to me to see if I was interested in purchasing her stuff. I'm going to probably de-stash some of it, but I mean, I'm going to keep most of it. Let's, let's be completely honest because I'm a bead hoarder, but like the stuff that there's way too many extras of, I'm definitely going to kind of get out there in circle circulation so people can use it. These are really awesome birds. I love them. I love them. I used to make so much stuff with birds. Gosh. Like, it's funny the things you'd forget until you remember them, right? <laughs> um, oh, that's so sweet. It's a vintage or vintage inspired, I should say, stamping. It looks like it's vintage, I think. It's lovely. I can't wait to paint this. Maybe like make him a pale blue, with some pink and well, purple and green and yellow, I think over here would be really sweet. That's a really neat flower. Definitely going to get some paint. Very pretty, and it used to it used to be something else, but it's a pen, it's a pendant now. Very cool. Um, more of these beads, which I'm so pumped about because I love I love them. Oh, here's a different style, a little smaller one. Oh, another one of these birds. And then we have a bunch of toggles. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's kind of cool. Kind of steampunky. Very cool. Kathy, you have good, you have good taste. I, I don't know why I said past tense, but you have good taste. Love all this stuff. Very cool. A crown. And then we have some more chandelier findings. Oh, this looks like it was a toggle. Oh, okay. So it's a toggle and she had attached it to some um, multi-strand chandelier findings, but that's a cool toggle. It's like a swirl. I would definitely use that like on an ocean piece. Very neat. Love that. And then look at this guy. Oh, these are like vintage drops. I wonder if those came off of a bracelet. They're green. I don't think it's picking it up in the camera very well. Very pretty. We have some uh, uh, connectors, some leaf connectors, some really nice bead caps that look like acorn caps. Um, oh, I thought that was an airplane. It's more of those connectors. We have some 
leaves or no these are feathers feathers excuse me another bird seems like she was um really into the stuff that i'm into birds fl uh, flowers hearts animals and then we have just a couple different types of clasps here very nice thanks kathy this is amazing oh, i can't wait to like go through and just like sort everything even though it's already like sorted it's not kind of like sort everything even more that's my that's my thing so okay well we're like 30 minutes in <laughs> and we got through one bag um let's see if there's anything else similar I'm, I'm, i mean this bag this box was 12 pounds or 11 pounds so I, i'm sure there's something in here but um here we'll just go through this bag too it's glass beads Again, I think this was some of the extras. I don't think this was included in the stuff that she originally sent me in photos. So we have some almost like macaroni yellow, really cool like tangerine color glass beads. I like those. It's almost close to a color you see a lot in African beads. So that would be really cool to mix with it. We've got some green um, faceted glass beads, crystals, probably Chinese crystal. Very nice. I like that color. It's a cool color. And then we have some lavender or like that almost an alexandrite color. A couple different sizes. This stuff kind of almost like glows. This, I don't think it's, it's not cat's eye, but it kind of, because of the opaqueness is picking up like a glowy effect. Um, another baggie of those, but in the, a little bit of the larger size that was in here. Some blue. Or, mm, it's periwinkle. Pretty color. And then more blue. It's a nice sky blue. This used to be one of my favorite colors. I mean, I still really, really like looking at it. <laughs> it makes me very happy, but um, yeah, it's gorgeous. Love that. Then we've got like a purple. It's like a grape. It's a little bit, it's a little bit lighter than it's showing on the camera. Milky purple. We've got two pinks, so we've got like a peach and then, oh, these are pretty. These are gonna get split up, they're like crystal glass. Um, we've got like a, a translucent pink and like an opal-y effect and then a peach, an opaque peach, they're really pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna um, definitely sort those. Um, and then we've got some blue again, two different blues, really pretty. These, all of these uh, beads would seem to go really well with, I think, a lot of my Jesse James beads. And we've got some pink. So sweet. Those would look really nice with some um, rose quartz. And then we've got a couple greens left. Like a pale green, almost like a margarita. That's exactly what that looks like. <laughs> and then another green here. Lots of beads. Lots of beads. I love those. It's so fun. Just handling beads makes me happy. Some days that's all I get to do. So, all right. So we've gone through two baggies. Or two, two larger baggies, I should say. We haven't even gotten to the stuff that I actually bought from her. <laughs> Here's another bag. This looks like it has glass and pearls and stuff in it. So let's see. Oh, this is like faux sea glass. Oh, cultured sea glass. Lovely. Oh my gosh. This just makes me so happy. It's like such a good color mix. 
Well, I'm gonna have to make a piece that looks like with these, like a multi-strand piece, because I have so many multi-strand stuff things now, and mix in some of the um, the beads that I already have with this mix. I really love this mix. I think we'll we'll see something. <laughs> no pun intended. We'll see something. Uh, see inspired with this mix. I love it. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to separate that out. Oh, so she did send me a picture that she had some African stuff. This is great. Little green African beads. These are gorgeous. Oh, I love them. I know some people are like, oh, what's the appeal? I just love that they are something old that was made new by recycling it. And then they still, they're just so unique. They have so much character. I love them. And then what's this? Oh, wow. I wonder what this is. Oh, that's a, it's a button. That's neat. I'm gonna have to look that up. See what octavo means. I mean, I would think something eight, but who knows? I, I don't know, <laughs> but it's so cool. It's so cool, it's very thick. Um, Then we have, looks like wood, but they're heavy. No, they're not wood. They're glass with a finish. That's really cool. Very rustic, love those. Big bag of freshwater pearls, and it looks like glass pearls too. So I'll have fun sh uh, sorting these. Oh, well, it's not just pearls. So we have glass pearls, we have freshwater pearls, which I just made a bracelet that I haven't shown anybody yet. Um, we have some moon glow acrylic. And then I think, I feel like this is shell. Gorgeous. Oh, really nice mix. I mean, I could just use it like that. And those would actually go really well with um, the, neck, the the pendants that I got from Janie, those big square ones. But I think I'll probably end up sorting that. Next, we have some cat's eye and some other glass. <gasps> purple. Okay, so periwinkle and purple in a couple different styles. These are purple. Very cool. Next we have, looks like some shell like composite beads. So beads, they use chopped up or grinded up shell and then they glue it together with resin and dye it. So that's what these are. They're really nice. They're mother of pearl blue. Very cool. And then um, some wood beads. Are great spacers. So lovely. Then we have um, some like frosted glass beads. Love those. Love those. Those are really nice. I love the feel of them. <clears throat> and then this last little baggie, and that was inside of that baggie, seems like it's all ceramic. Which is awesome because I love ceramic beads. So we have yellow. Looks like the very same style of beads, but all different colors. So we have yellow. Love the finish. This would be really cool for like um, some chakra beads or something. Um, well, chakra colors, I should say. Um, orange. I might make a bracelet with these rainbow bracelet on some leather because they have larger holes. That's going to be really cute. That's going to happen. So then this is like um, a pinky brown. I know that doesn't make sense, but it's like pink and brown. Got red and like a 3D bead. Very nice. I love these. I, I'm for sure making a bracelet out of these. <clears throat> maybe maybe a couple. And we've got green. Nice. And gray ish blue. No, it's more gray and black and white. <clears throat> Um, this is a purpley brown. <laughs> it's very similar to the pink, but it's more 
it's just darker like a almost uh, I don't know what color to call that plum I like it though and then last but not least for this video we have some turquoise blue these are gorgeous um, actually they're two different colors there's a blue and a turquoise lovely so um i'm obviously going to do this in uh, at least two parts i'm hoping it, it's probably going to be three parts so this was part one i'm super excited to show you the rest i'm super excited to like dive into this stuff i already have several ideas especially for these beads um these beads yeah i'm super excited so stay tuned this is just video one and we'll be back with video two stay tuned for goldie she's super cute Bye bye